If you need a laptop that's a hybrid workstation for gaming, video editing, or high intensive workflows, if you are someone who doesn't move around or travel a lot, but still wants the flexibility to take your laptop on the go and still be able to get the high performance when you need it, the Lenovo Legion Pro 5 may be the laptop you should consider. It's a laptop that prioritizes power over portability, but caters well to somebody looking to get the most out of their laptop purchase. It's especially great if you aren't someone with a dedicated PC monitor and peripherals and just wants an all-in-one workstation and gaming hub. All those things don't come for free though. So what sacrifices are you making to get this kind of performance? And is the pro version really that much better than the standard version? So let me break down everything you need to know if you are considering picking one up. When choosing a Legion, there are so many different configurations. It can be confusing which one to get. So here are the specs of my particular build. The Legion Pro 5 is running a AMD Ryzen 9000 series processor. We have an RTX 5070, 32 gigabytes of RAM, one terabyte of SSD storage, and a beautiful glossy OLED 165 Hertz panel. And here are the specs for the Legion 5 by comparison. Now I did get some comments on my last video about this laptop spec and Lenovo did send me this to test out. They are the sponsor of this video, which is still crazy because I am such a small channel, but as I do in all my videos, I will still give my honest opinion. If you were wondering what the difference between the pro and the non-pro version of the Legion 5, let me break that down quickly. The standard Legion 5 is a compact on the go powerhouse. It's smaller at 15 inches, it's lighter, has less cooling performance, but still has very quiet fans whilst giving you the performance you need for gaming, video editing, or high performance tasks. I reviewed this laptop in detail in my last video and I loved it if you wanted to check that out. When it comes to the Legion Pro 5, it's more of a dedicated workstation meant to extract as much performance from the laptop as possible. It's slightly bigger at 16 inches, it's heavier, which is surprising because it's only like half a kilo heavier, but it does make a difference. It has a higher spec CPU as the default. This one is a AMD Ryzen 9000 series processor. And for focuses more on cooling performance as the entire back is a fan, but it is a little bit louder as well. However, you'll get much more performance out of this laptop for intensive professional tasks like video editing. Other than that, they are very similar laptops with amazing OLED screens, great build quality, and similar ports. The only downside is the Pro lacks a USB 4 port for fast 40 gigabit per second speeds, whereas the standard does not. And I thought this was a bit of an odd exclusion. So that's something to keep in mind if you are tossing up between these two laptops. Let's cover gaming performance. This laptop has the same 5070 GPU found on the non-Pro Legion 5, so I wasn't expecting a massive difference as I don't think the CPU was the bottleneck for performance. Anyway, in the NVIDIA app, I adjust the slider between performance versus quality, and the app will apply the appropriate game settings. I set the slider to the exact same position I did on the last Legion 5 I reviewed, just to see if there was any significant performance difference here. The cooling design and the CPU have really changed how this laptop operates, and I found that I was getting slightly improved gaming performance across all the titles I played. Here's some side-by-side -side results from my testing so you can see roughly what you should expect. The exception to the performance was BG3. However, I think that was area specific, so you should see a bump here too. I even found that I was able to game on the standard performance mode with slightly less power draw and fan noise if you were in a more quiet location and still wanted to game. The silent performance mode for gaming is not the best just because there isn't enough juice for the GPU to get high FPS, so I probably wouldn't recommend that. I will save my discussion for the CPU for when I talk about the pro workflows, but the CPU is really interesting. However, because of the more powerful CPU, you probably won't get as much battery life. This thing absolutely chews through battery life. So it's more of a plug in and play your games type of experience rather than a portable one. Where the Legion Pro 5 really shines is when it comes to intensive workflows like video editing. Because of the AMD Ryzen 9000 series processor, you're getting much more performance than you would on the Legion 5. The Ryzen has higher clock speeds, a larger cache, and stronger single and multi-core output. So you should get a significant performance improvement here for things like rendering, etc. Now, I much prefer actually trying to do the intensive work on the laptop rather than running it through a benchmark because you can get a real feel for it. When I was trying out one of my 1080p timelines, it was absolutely breezing through that whole thing. I could scrub through it. I could move about. It was really responsive. Uh, when I moved up to a 4K timeline, it wasn't as powerful, but it's probably an improvement on the non Pro version of the Legion 5. And the Legion Core Front Hyper cooling system does a reasonable job of managing CPU temperatures. From my experience with the CPU and from what others who've tested it as well, it almost jumps straight to 100 degrees C, but it is a common trait with these Ryzen 9955 CPUs. They get to 100, stay there, and output as much performance as possible at that temp. 
A downside is the idle performance is very high because of this. What really surprised me though, was actually putting this thing into silent mode because the CPU is so powerful, you're actually able to edit at much lower power levels and it's still giving you that performance you need. So on silent mode, this was still sliding through my 1080p timeline with a breeze and the fans were quiet. It was really good. So that's something to consider. If you take this out somewhere and you don't want to have like a really hectic loud machine, that's a pretty good alternative. And then only when you want to render your stuff, maybe you can put it back in the high performance mode. So that way you can actually take advantage of those faster speeds. Because of the biggest screens, fans, stronger CPU, and its tendency to run at a higher clock speed at idle, the battery life will suffer greatly. I wouldn't be gaming or video editing off battery power here. You can really expect like hour, two hours, max, you know what I mean? Ideally, you want to plug this laptop in and just let it rip. That's probably how it's been designed to operate. For pricing, the Legion Pro 5 is 2,400 or 2,600 Australian, and the Legion 5 is about 2,500. A little bit of extra value that laptops seem to be adding these days is the three months of PC Game Pass that you get. So when you buy a new Lenovo laptop, you actually get access to that. And I think it's just another value add to consider. I personally haven't used Game Pass before, but after looking through the catalog, uh, I think it's a pretty good deal. And the fact that you can dive into some of the newest games straight away does save you a little bit of money. So is the Lenovo Legion Pro 5 worth it? When compared to the standard Legion 5, both are fairly similar in price. Ultimately, it comes down to what you prefer. Do you want something smaller, lighter, very quiet, but still has great performance to game and do heavy workloads, then the Legion 5 is the right choice. Or do you want something that's a bit bigger, heavier, a bit louder, and has more power for professional tasks like video editing, music production, 3D modeling, or rendering? If that's the case, the Legion Pro 5 is what you should go with. I like both of these Legion laptops. They are very capable with the Pro being superior. The 5070 GPU with DLSS4 is great for high FPS modern gaming, whilst the AMD Ryzen 9000 series processor provides significantly more performance for intensive tasks like video editing. Pair that with the free three months of PC Game Pass you get with this laptop and your hybrid workstation is set. Personally, I prefer the non-pro Legion 5. After trying out both, I think it just hits the sweet spot of performance, noise levels, and portability, but you will sacrifice a bit of performance for professional workflows. However, if I didn't have a powerful PC already, I'd definitely go the Legion Pro 5. Anyway, I'll link them down below. Peace.